Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Career Mode. We are back. We are reading the comments. I'm reading the comments and what I'm going to be doing is selling some of the players in the background which you guys did suggest and also signing some players which you did suggest as well. So if you guys can try and hit over 4,000 likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. Subscribe if you're not already and uh, obviously I'm learning each episode. Now the first thing is the difficulty. Now difficulty, I'm not 100% sure what difficulty you guys want me to play on. Now we have, and we are on world class, there is one more uh, legend, well, it's legendary, and it jump in from legendary or world class. Now, world class, I feel comfortable with as. Um this is my first time playing CPU, you guys who probably play the computer, a lot more confident, a lot more better than me, and uh, I want to try world class out, but I want it to be entertaining for you. So if you want me to rank up to legendary, let me know in the comment section below. So a lot of the comments were suggested, we have got William Carvalho, which someone suggested, we had Jackson Martinez, who we inquired about, and for some fucking stupid reason, I thought we only had 20, um, 20 million in the bank. But that seemed to jump up to around, uh, I've forgotten what it jumped up to. It went absolutely crazy. I don't know if you can see it uh, on the screen at the moment. But I was making transfer uh, requests for people and inquiring about people. And it said I only had seven, uh, 7 million left to spend. So that's why I've been skimping out. But that changed at the end of the episode. And I will show you exactly what happened. And this is about me requesting extra funds or anything else like that. So we jump into our, I think it's our last friendly game now, which is against AS Monaco. And uh, we have got a few reserve players in there like Arnold. We give De Bruyne a rest. Um, we've got Doss starting though. We've got fresh defenders giving now to arrest and, and giving other players a tryout just to see what they're like really and uh, it didn't start off very fucking good a run through from uh, German German I think Jermaine sorry running straight on through ball through to Toulon and a nice finish near post now thank you to the guys as well which did tell me that the animations are different I thought it was just my eyes but the animations do feel a lot better I like the goalkeeper error for the computer uh, I also like the way they save it and parry it that's what FIFA needs but then I get uh, FIFA and the team needs sorry and I can imagine a lot of people uh, getting very upset. So Rodriguez running down the wing, whips the ball in nice chest and on the half volley from Hunt into the far corner does make it 1-1 in the 42nd minute. But there was one more opportunity to come before the... Um before the end of the half and it was actually a very sweaty goal as you can see there on the counter attack with Hunt who seems to be alright not a bad replacement actually for De Bruyne so I'm going to leave him on the subs bench in the future we whip the ball out to uh, Caliguri and he crosses it in and who's there but Bastos to head it into the back of the net and make it 2-1 going into half time then it got a little bit into the second half and he decided to make a few changes on the 57th minute bringing on um, I forgot who I brought on I brought Perisic on I took Sherlock off and and I uh, also bought on a few more other players. I think Bedner was one of them as well. So from the resulting free kick, which I didn't think was a free kick, the ball is crossed in and uh, some complete mess up. And Toulon gets his second goal of the game, which was very, very frustrating for me to concede. Um, as I was bossing the game again, but the only thing I am missing is someone else commented, and we are missing the goal. So... I, um, I'm looking just to get used to computer play. That's why I have played the seasons. A lot of people do want me to sim the matches, which are not important. But do you not, guy? Do you guys not want me to play the games? Uh, I thought that's the whole point of career mode is to play every single game. But I want to do what you want. So in the in the 70th minute we do actually score um, a nice goal to take us into the lead and that was actually the final goal of the game as well so we walk away with two wins out of one in the uh, start of the pre-season and that does see us go on to our next game which is against Bayern Munich so before then we had to make some signings now what you are going to see for the next duration of the video guys is me fucking around in the menus getting used to it realizing a lot of things and explaining it to you guys as well so I'm actually got the game on in front of me not just uh, talking over this and also do you want the game live coming on um on friday i think the next episode is so do you want the game live coming for the game against bayern munich or do you want it just post come and mixed in with a few more games now we have youth staff here as you can see youth staff is there uh, find new talent for your youth squad we've gone nowhere near that should we go near it? We also have, uh, what else was there? Youth Academy. Do you guys go near that as well? So in the background, you're seeing a few of the contract negotiations I was going through. Uh, inquiring about players like Van der Weel. Um, we went for Mbola, who probably isn't going to be coming. And there was also, I've got a list here. We went for Jackson Martinez, uh, João Rojas, uh, Gea, I don't think we went near. Uh, William Carvalho from Sporting Lisbon. We have Oxlade-Chamberlain.
Chamberlain from As Arsenal. Uh, Kevin Prince Boateng, that was if we didn't get William Carvalho. We have Leno as a goalkeeper. Van der Weel, who you've seen in the background as well. Uh, Pajanic, who I never went near actually. Um, Dermic, who uh, obviously wasn't interested in joining the club as you see in there. And uh, we also have Bellarabi, who wasn't interested either. Well, I thought it was a little bit too expensive uh, to start with. And then I realised that my remaining transfer budget was 73 million. So I've no idea where that money come from. If someone can explain to me where that money come from, considering I've not sold any expensive players, um, I'd be more than welcome. And then I started realising I'm actually going to sign these motherfuckers and we actually started getting players in and uh, trying to uh, get them into team. As we do have a long season, I reckon looking at, looking at career mode, Looking at the projection, I reckon we can go for second place. Uh, Dortmund are going to be a tough, tough, uh, tough cookie to, to challenge, but I reckon Dortmund and Munich are going to walk away with a title just because of the depth of the squad and the strength. Now, obviously, that will time will tell with the first game of the season against Bayern Munich. But what do you guys predict will be the uh, position I'll finish in the season if we don't get sacked? So we went for Leno, kept getting rejected for him. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to go on next to uh, Silicon as well. The Ajax goalkeeper instead, uh, but that will be in the next episode. Anyway, Mbola, I need a scout to try and figure out how much he's worth. Uh, we got all the uh, transfers which we did put in for in the first episode, rejected, and uh, Gaia. Uh, I wasn't sure whether to go for him, but I think we actually uh, decided a little bit later on not to go for him. But as you can see, guys, I am a complete noob when it comes to career mode. So, we've got a left back coming in. We've got a striker coming in, which you'll find out as well, and a CDM, and we also have some other players. So at the end of the video, guys, you will see a squad, uh, which is coming up. It's starting to look good. We've only got one signing so far, and that's this Giglio as well, the uh, right back, and he is having bad form at the moment, like his form has gone down. And I was wondering how you actually do get the players up. Is it for performing well, well with them in the game, or does it just naturally happen? Because you've got to understand, and I say this a lot. I come from Ultimate Team. I have no idea. I can just go to the market. I can buy the player. No negotiating. Just buy him. Um, if he runs out of contracts, I can just buy a contract card. If he's low on stamina, I can just put a stamina card in him. If I feel like being a noob, I can put an attribute card in him. But the potential seems to be a brilliant side of career mode. And that's what's got me interested. So we've got Citizen there, who we were going to uh, approach to buy, I think. Um... I'm still not sure. I'm, I'm tied between Leno and, uh, obviously, Leno and Sillison. So you guys can make that choice. If you think there's any more signings I do need to make before the transfer window shuts or even before um, the first couple of games in the next episode, let me know in the comment section below and I'll aim to get them. There you are seeing the list of the people who we did go for. We went for Varane on loan in the last episode. Uh, got that rejected. Z uh, Zivkovic, we're never going to get till the January window, apparently. And um, these are the ones where people have come in for us as well. So we've got William Carvalho on the list that's in progress there was quite a few people on progress actually uh, which is pretty good also if the editing is not to your style like we've got we've got thing there we were told we can get in for 13.5 million straight away snap that up uh, we also have um some other things coming as well. Yeah, so if the editing's like too fast for you guys and you do actually want to read it, let me know in the comment section below and I'll slow it down, cut it up, tell me what you don't want, what you do want. Uh, and obviously, when an offer for Manchester United comes in for De Bruyne, which is well under value, you are going to reject it because De Bruyne is the person we are building the team around. Now, on the contracts, you are seeing me mess around with a few things. Squad role being the main one. Now, when you actually go to sign the players, guys, are you honest with what he's going to be? I.e. Rojas there, I put for a future first team player and uh, he didn't actually uh, enjoy it so that was something to learn do you actually lie to the player that's what i need to ask do you lie to uh, try and just get them in the team and then make them happy while they're there because i'm feeling like doing it with oxley chamberlain now van der Weel as well i did i wasn't sure uh, the wage budget was a little bit high and i didn't actually realize you can adjust the wage budget as well which is something i did find out pretty fast so if you go to finances now you guys are going to laugh at me. If you go to finances, you can change the budget allocation slider. This gives you a lower transfer budget, but it gives you a higher wage budget, which is something I did not know. And obviously, I couldn't sign these players until the end of the episode because I wasn't 100% sure what was going to be happening. So, the projection for the future in the uh, important games, like the games of. Um, 
who are the games against? I'm actually going to go on have a look on my uh, my central. So central news table squad. Uh, where are the matches? Where are the matches? Office and. Season, there we are, season. So we've got to calendar and we'll see the upcoming game. So we've got Bayern Munich as the first game. Then we've got, I don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Don't know what team that is. It's the team who Maya plays for. Uh, then we've got Hoffenheim. Uh, we've got Leverkusen, Bremen and Herfer, which could be a pretty difficult month in September. We've got a cup match. This actually looks pretty easy, these couple of months. Schalke is going to be a bit of a tough game. Uh, Hamburg as well, Stuttgart, Dortmund. Dortmund, there they are. We don't have them until December. So technically, how many games do you want per episode? That would be uh, very interesting. Uh, do you want this skipping like... Uh, obviously after the transfer market there's going to be no negotiations we're just going to be talking about the team itself keeping them happy keeping them fit and getting them ready but I'm actually enjoying sitting here playing career mode as sad as that sounds I was uh, looking to get it sorted get it understood and uh, make it more entertaining for you guys but I can tell by the video each time it goes live a lot of people do get annoyed with certain things but that's why you're here to uh, point me in the right direction so these are the final two days we've got contract accepted for uh, top rack who we did actually manage to uh, purchase and put into the team as well uh, so top rack is the first center back signing of the team i'm unsure whether we actually got anyone else i think we did get two more players as well and it was actually after my fuck up where we uh, did realize what we could do now i need to get rid of some players i think he was one of them as well that guy um who is that guy? I need to remember because he's someone that might be putting in in the future a left back, Raw, uh, left mid. So we've got Rojas, a 69 rated player, who I'm actually going to put on the bench now, ready for the next episode. And I'm going to put him instead of, yeah, probably Caliguri. So we'll take, put him in and uh, maybe bring him on for a few minutes against Bayern Munich. So I realised that I was going to be unable to get these players and that was because of the wage budget allocation. But... Then I became very, very fucking clever and actually found it. As you can see there, we don't have enough funds to complete the transaction. And it was the same for William Carvalho as well. So, finances. We found it just after I finished recording the episode. We adjusted the slider as well to reduce the transfer budget. Because I'm not going to be buying that many expensive players. Lacazette, William Carvalho are going to be the best signings of the summer transfer window. But who knows what's going to be happening in winter. Maybe you guys can get a few more youth players into the team and uh, tell me which ones to get rid of as well so we get William Carvalho we get Lacazette into the team that's two major signings and uh, ta that actually takes us now to Toprak De Siglio we also have uh, Rojas who we signed as well and it looks like Dost is going to be uh, on the way out of the team uh, maybe Bedner as well. I might get a replacement for Bedner, but he's only just signed for the team. So I don't know what that's going to be happening with that. So this is the team as it looks now going into the Bayern Munich match, as you can see on the screen. Uh, we have Toprak, we have Naldo, we have Disgiglio, uh, and also Rodriguez in the left back position. Uh, Benoglio? I can't even say this guy's name. It's pretty awful, isn't it? Uh, Benaglio, sorry. So we've got Benaglio in the, the uh, goalkeeper position. We have Luis Gustavo, CDM, along with William Carvalho, we have Verena, uh, Verena, sorry, in the uh, right mid position, Schurler on the left side De Bruyne and Lacazette, so this can only be fun, but the game against Bayern is going to be tough, so drop a like rating guys, subscribe if you're not, and we'll be back on Friday with the next episode of Career Mode for you guys to hopefully enjoy support and let me know what to do